You are probably not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. So I play racing games. Racing games is my main genre. Um, you know, I play other types of games here and there, like Watch Dogs is coming out tomorrow. I'm definitely going to do some of that. You know, I'm excited for a few of the games. But racing games are my main genre. This is what I mainly play. And as you can probably tell by the title, I I've, I've never played TDU2 all the way through. Never. It's a game which I've had in my Steam library for like a year now, but I've only got like what, like 60 minutes in the game, which is basically the, t the tutorial. Um, so I thought, why not get a save, experience everything there is around TDU2, and if it's really as good as, as everyone says, then I can go ahead and like reinstall my other save and carry on with the game sort of thing. And just hopping on to this save and looking at what this guy has done, he's got 54 million. Um, and all of the cars are unlocked and everything's unlocked. Um, and I'm just looking around and this is madness. I quickly hopped on before just to see what this was like. And there's a weather channel. There's a weather channel. It tells you what it's going to be like in two hours time, game time. That is ridiculous. So I've got full intentions to play this game, you know, all the way through off camera at some point. Or maybe on camera for the next Let's Play if you guys want to see that. But essentially today, I kind of want to go buy a few cars and just have a look round. Hawaii and see what there is on offer. I know there's DLC packs as well and I think those are installed So basically we're just gonna go around and just experience TDU2. Now this is all pretty much new to me I kind of know the basis of the game because obviously um, I have played a little bit of it I've not really properly played it, but I kind of know the basis of it I've obviously seen other people play it so I kind of know what I'm doing but at the same time I, I kind of don't Part of me wants to go ahead and just hop straight in the most fastest car in the game and go from there, which probably isn't the Pagani, but that's the fastest we've got in this specific garage. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to go ahead and pop inside this, this um, Pagani. I think we're going to drive to a dealership, and I think we're going to go ahead and buy a car. I think it's probably the best thing to do. I need to decide which place we want to go to. Now, these are all the dealerships on the game. Um, and they're actual dealerships, like they're actual places you can visit. And I don't really know what I want to do. Um, I don't really know what dealerships are which. Like, I don't know where to go for what. I know it does kind of say, but I, I don't know. Right. Since, you know, like in one of the most recent videos, we went to a Ferrari dealership. Let's go ahead and drive to a Ferrari dealership. That makes complete sense in my head. So, um, we're going to go ahead and just drive to there. And I'm going to see what this is like. So, the car's for sale. We can actually see the car's for sale. It's really cool. Uh, they've got a Ferrari 612. I've never heard of that in my life. A California. A 430. A 599 China edition um, and a few others. So I think we're going to go there and we'll just see what there is. I want to drive there as well. I don't just want to quit to just teleport there. So um, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Now there's a few little issues with the PC version. For some reason, um, sometimes the tyre smoke and the tyre like, st like stretches on the road. Um, it just becomes see-through and you can see through the floor. So that's a bit of an issue um, And there's a few little gl kind of glitches here. Oh my god Sometimes it can come the controller glitches out and I just lose all control and my controller doesn't work um, So I just want to warn you guys that if this happens you, you now know why and also hardcore handling seems to be Really fucking hardcore. Okay, it's a hell of a lot easier using manual. Having been able to control these gears makes life so much goddamn easier. I've also just realised that it's 31 miles till we get to the Ferrari dealership. So we've got a long way. We've got a long freaking way. Oh my god. Right, let's come on this action view. Let's have a look at the game. To be honest, for a game which is quite old at this point, it still doesn't look that bad. Like, it genuinely is a really, really nice looking game. Okay, that's going to be a jump. That's going to be a jump. Oh my Jesus Christ. You are driving in the wrong direction. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I genuinely think this little road trip is going to take the whole video. <laughs> yeah, I've heard so many things about TDU. Um, it's just never been one of those games I picked up. Like, I don't know. I, it's, it's hard to explain, really. It's just one of those games I never got a chance to play. And then I think I got gifted it once um, during a Steam sale. And I just never really played it. I think it was because I had issues installing it um, because of the NAT type and stuff. And I still think the NAT type is broken. It just won't work. Like, for some reason, it won't let me on. But fucking hell, if it's as good as this opening, like, five minutes have been, and this is what the game has to, exp a game has to offer, then I'm pretty excited. And it's also mad to think that there's, a, like, I think there's two more islands with the DLC, which I have, which... It's freaking awesome, and the, oh my god, the physics compared to the crew 
are leaps and bounds. Obviously, the guys who made TD2, I believe they went on to go make the crew, but the physics on this are leaps and bounds better. Within reason, within reason. There's a few scenarios where it's very, very weird, but if you're playing, you know, on hardcore, is pretty good. One thing I've, I, I also noticed when I was um, picking up this game and I was looking at reviews and stuff is uh, the attention to detail is actually a bit ridiculous. You can do little things like do, do your blinkers. Like my left indicator is on right now. That is so goddamn cool. And you can even do your windows and stuff. Like you can take your windows up and down. There's just so many little things you can do in this game. It's just ridiculous. So we're into interior view right now and we're in a tunnel. So we're gonna go ahead and take down the windows and can we hear the engine more? You actually can. Oh my god, you can hear the engine in the tunnel. That is so goddamn sick. Now this is awesome. I don't know, how, how have I never played this? Oh my... <laughs> I can feel, I like, I... Uh. <laughs> this is too much fun. This is genuinely too much fun. What the fuck? I see why everyone goes on about TDU, and I've only been cruising around for what, like 10 minutes? We've also hit. Oh my god, that's a jump, that's a jump, that's a jump, that's a jump. Left the gas, left the gas. Okay, and drift on the highway. Yep, 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 yep. We are doing some wine gun. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? This is what I mean when I say I don't play PC. It's for that specific reason, it's just broken. You actually kind of need to drive like it's real life. You can't like just go up fucking walls and just dive. Like you actually have to be quite sensible, which is kind of refreshing to be fair. The fact I couldn't just take that jump and expect to get away with it scots free it's kind of refreshing considering every other game nowadays is like take the jump take the jump like even forza with the whole danger zones thing and need for speed especially like i don't know there's something refreshing about me spinning out because i was going too fast over a hill i might see if we can get into a police chase was because we got 15 minutes or 15 miles even and we're not really like doing much surely we can avoid them come on you are driving in the wrong direction what Turn um I take back what I said about the physics. Right, there we go. The police are on their way to arrest you. Where the fuck is my waypoint gone? You're actually taking the piss. No, you've actually taken the piss. The waypoint has just dis disappeared. Oh my god. Are those like Corvette cop cars? Or Viper cop cars? What the fuck? Okay, I really messed up. I really messed up, guys. I didn't realise the waypoint was going to disappear. Oh my god. What does that timer mean? There's a timer. What does that mean? Oh my god, I'm actually going to die. I can't control this normally. So let alone when it's fucking... Two Viper fucking cop cars coming me the other way. It doesn't help that I don't know where I'm fucking going either. This is so weird. It says 10.5 miles. Jump. Nailed it. Where the fuck is this Ferrari dealership? Where the fuck is this Ferrari dealership? It says 10 miles, but I don't know. There is no line. There is no line to tell me where to go. So I, uh, speed and power, speed. I'm going to carry on going straight because that's a lot easier. Wait, congratulations, you escaped the police. Your rank has now increased to 90. Okay, so that's a really weird police system. I only had to be in a pursuit for three minutes without getting busted to carry on. That's very weird. I'd kind of prefer it how it is in the crew and most wanted, like 2005, like the Need for Speed way of doing it. But that was exciting. Like for those three minutes, that was, that was very fucking exciting. If this was an MMO, it would be perfect. That's like literally, this is a, the perfect platform for an MM, MMO. And the, the fact it isn't an MMO just makes it even more just astounding to see they made this all in one game. Now here it is. Here's the Ferrari dealership. And the, the cool thing with this game is they legitimately have like licensed Ferrari dealerships. So that's pretty goddamn cool. Right, let's enter it and let's see what we have inside. Okay, so here we are. We are in the Ferrari dealership and we're going to go ahead and have a look around. Now, I'm not sure if all of these are the same. I'm, I, again, like I said, I've not played much of this game, so I don't know. But that is the China edition thing we were talking about earlier. That is disgusting. So we can sit in all these cars, I'm pretty sure, um, if we're just going to get into car. We can pretty much sit in all of them and have a look around. And this is so fucking cool. Like, <laughs> this is madness. What's upstairs? What is this spiral staircase really leading up to? That's the main question. That's a 458. Is that what, is that, is that, is that all that's up here? So they've literally got, they've got a spiral staircase which leads to a 458. That's so sick. Right, well, since this is at the top, I think it kind of makes sense. We go ahead and buy a 458. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. So if we press A uh, and then we go into buy car, what does it come up with? 
Okay, so we can pick the rims. Okay, that's freaking cool. So we can pick 20 inch forged uh, rims with the diamond finish. Uh, normal ones or those rims. I kind of prefer the standard rims. So we're gonna go ahead and keep standard rims. We can also pick a color. So we've got the classic Ferrari red. We've got white, which I think looks really, really nice. Plenty of colors on option. Like, that, is that a purple or a blue? I think just for the sake of being different, I would, I would get one in red. Personally, I'd get one in red. But we're going to go ahead, get one in white, just to be a bit different. Oh my god, you can even do the interior colours. Holy shit, you can really tell that the people who made the crew made this game. Oh my god, there is so much you can do. That looks like a D-brand skin. I'm not sure if you guys agree. It looks like a D-brand skin to me. No, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go with this kind of Alcantara black. I think that suits it the best. And we're going to buy it. Here are the keys to your new car. That's so sick. It's even got the keys. It's even got the keys. Holy shit. And we're outside in our 458. Oh my god, you can see the spark. Wait, didn't I get it in white? Wait, I, I could have sworn I just bought this car, car in white. Right, well, nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and pop it into neutral. Give it a bit of a rev. I think we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. If you guys want to see me, you know, mess around with this 458, maybe do another one of these styles of videos where we drive to a dealership, buy a car, drive it, and, you know, see how that goes. Um, make sure to let me know down in the comment section down below and in the comment section down below. But nevertheless, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and peace.